let's step, a, step to the direction of um, the conversations around the subsidies. And the new regime came into office, scrapped subsidies to UNGA, uh, to fuel, and a bit of electricity. And it said that they are now introducing the subsidies to finance production. I think one of you mentioned that earlier on. You come from Kitu Central, which is an area that has experienced se se severe situations when it comes to drought and um, uh, insufficient rainfall. Mm -hmm. What has been the impact of the subsidy fertilizer, for instance? And are we now on course to food security, at least for the next mm -hmm. season? Okay, maybe before, before I weigh you in on that matter of subsidies, let me just comment on what uh, uh, Mr. Mwema said, the issue of uh, the public debt and more so domestic borrowing, following up what the DP has said. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, any time I, I see the DP make public statements, it, it makes me get worried very much. Why? Because as we are discussing now, Sam, I've mentioned the pub, the budget policy statement, which is in the House. This is a document of the Kenya Kwanzaa government. If you look at that document, out of the 70, 20 billion to be borrowed, it's only 198, which will come from foreign countries. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's foreign debt. Domestically, we are borrowing almost 598. So in a situation where we are borrowing 598 domestically, and you say you are, you are, you are stopping domestic borrowing, then you wonder whether this government is on the same page. And that ties very closely with what uh, Henry is saying. You know, when you borrow locally, automatically you push the, the private sector out of that because the government is very reliable in terms of repayment. And no, now we're talking about 14% interest rates. Banks want to buy treasury bills, treasury bonds, because those ones are assured of return. So my friend Renly and the colleagues and that sector, which is the private sector, they, 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 they would die looking for credit where they, which they can't get. Mm -hmm. And uh, as he says, they don't have the luxury to go to the external market to borrow like the government. So I think what we are saying basically, I want to agree with what Joe was saying. Let's think about concessional loans. Get out of this country, borrow out there, allow the domestic market for, for, for the private sector to, to borrow. In that case, we'll have an economy which is stable. Now, the other issue is the $2 billion, which is going to be paid. Uh, this is actually a euro bond. You remember at one point, 2014, Sam, mm -hmm. I'm sure you are still here. If you remember 2014, uh, this country borrowed $2 billion from the, the so-called euro bond. And uh, you remember that time we were discussing where did that money go? Mm -hmm. You remember at one point people were saying the money didn't even get to Kenya. Right. It was borrowed. People shared the money out there. And we are here paying as a, as a generation. Now... Now the money has come, now this is the time to pay the money next year, June, 10 years after the, the Euro bond. Mm -hmm. And we have to pay. And the thing is, uh, if we had introduced what we call a sinking fund, we would not be able to pay that loan easily. Sinking fund is where you put money on a continuous basis so that when the repayment is due, you just pick the money and pay. Right. That has not happened. So as we are talking now, don't be surprised to see another Euro bond to pay, pay that Euro bond. That is what is likely to happen. But you know, we may not be able to say that now, where we are using <laughs> the term liability management <coughs> strategy so that you manage your liabilities. Let's yeah. see how things move. Let me come to the strategies. And I've said this many times. I've said this on many shows. I've said subsidies in any economy, they distort the market. So if there is a way, you do away with them the best. But uh, looking at what we are going through as a country, you might not be able to do away with subsidies. Now, the next level is to choose, do you go for consumption subsidies or do you go for production subsidies? The best is always production subsidies because those are more sustainable. They are more likely to have a positive impact to the economy. But now, what has happened? By the time Kenya Kwanzaa was taking over, the, the Jubilee government had already introduced consumption subsidies in the country through food subsidies and, and uh, oil subsidies, where they were right. subsidizing the, the fuel. Now, where you have consumption subsidies, the strategy is not to take them just immediately. You don't, you don't do away with them immediately. You stagger the, 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 the process in terms of uh, removing them. In that case, then you cushion uh, the, 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 the poor, as you're saying. So what has happened is the Kenya Kwanzaa government came, introduced production subsidies, which is the best, 
But the problem with production subsidies, they require time for them to, 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 to have the impact felt by in the economy. For example, we gave out fertilizer out. We, in our area, fertilizer has no impact because they, they, it has not rained. So even as we are talking now, Sam, that fertilizer will not help our region. It may help other regions. Where it might be helping, we require nine months to, for the crops to mature. So what happens between the month zero to nine? You have removed the, sub, the consumption subsidy. You now you, have, you require nine months for this other one to, to have positive impact. So in between here, yeah, the ASALA will have to suffer seriously. Uh, so that's why I'm not worried. I'm not surprised when I see them go to the streets. Say, uh, I talked to Patea, I was watching some, some clip as I was coming here. Somebody was saying, I talked to Ramusha Bay Yangas to 100 shillings. Kama sina unga, I need ID. Do you, do you see that analogy? There's nothing to cook. So, so these are the issues, and that's what we are saying. I know we have serious economists in the Kenya Kwanzaa government. They have a whole think tank read by David D. But at times, theories are not going to help this country. We want practical solutions to our problems. And I think that's what the theorists are missing. They are missing the practical aspect of this combining theory with practice. <laughs> that is what we are missing. And I would want to see, by, because I'm an economist by training, and I would want to see economics, which is, we do the theories, which make a lot of sense, but also look at the reality so that we combine both, um, uh, uh, what I would call a, 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 a delicate balance between theory and practice so that we help the country. Otherwise, for now, <coughs> subsidies are good, production subsidies are good, I support them. But Kenya is continue suffering till we get the results of production subsidies.